Hi there everyone. Uh, today I thought that we would start doing some phonics and so I thought uh, it wouldn't hurt to go right back to the beginning and practice some of our sounds right from the beginning. So the one we're going to do today is a stretchy sound and it's not a digraph and it starts with my mouth closed. So my lips need to be together and my teeth need to be very closed. And this is an easy peasy one because my mouth doesn't move. So this one goes, mmm, my turn, mmm, your turn. And tell your partner. And my turn, mmm, your turn. And tell your partner, mmm. And uh, let's try it with a cross voice, mmm, your turn. And tell your partner. Mm. And obviously being at home, I don't have the things I'd normally do at school. So I, I tried to look around the house and I found a few things that have got the mmm sound in. Uh, one of those things is me. I found mmm e Me. Your turn. And tell your partner. Mmm. E. Me. Uh, and I'm also a man. So my turn. Man. Your turn. Tell your partner. And let's uh, drum it out together. So off we go. M -a -n. Man. Your turn. And let's nose it. M a n man. Your turn. And tell your partner. <laughs> and I also found, which I like to have in my cereal and on my tea, I found some milk. So there's some milk there as well. And I found which also keeps my hands and my face from getting too dry, I found some moisturiser. Uh, and also very healthy and very juicy and very tasty, I found some mango. Mango. Uh, so for the first challenge, I'd like you to see what you can find around your house that's got an mmm in it. Okay? An mmm sound in it. So off you go and I'll see you in a bit. So now that you've found some things and we've practiced it and we've thought about what it sounds like, uh, it's time to practice looking at it as well. And this is our mmm. Okay, so it's a nice bouncy sound. And now it's nice and curvy. So here and it bounces, and it bounces. And we remember the rhyme for this one. If you need to remind yourself, then it looks like this. And we start at the beginning, and it goes straight down, and we go, mazy, mountain, mountain. And Maisie must be very, very tall, because she's the same size as the mountains. And remember, we only want two. We only want two mountains. Maisy, mountain, mountain. Uh, try and draw it on your knee. Maisy, mountain, mountain. And if we don't need the picture, then this is what it looks like when we read it. Maisy, mountain, mountain. And tell your partner. And try writing it on your hand. And try writing it on the floor. And try writing it on your foot. Remember that we're just using our magic, our magic pencil, aren't we? Okay. Mazy, mountain, mountain. Now we're going to practice writing it in a minute. But before we practice writing it, I want us to have a go at reading it. So I've got a couple of words here. Okay. Our first word. My turn. 
M A D. Your turn. And let's do it together. Off we go. M A D. My turn. I'm going to blend it now. M A D. Mud. Your turn. And tell your partner. M A D. Mud. Well done. Now we're going to try the next one. Oh, we like this one. This one was from our rhyming song that we liked about a cat. And this time, I'm going to whisper it so you've got to listen really carefully. Now this time we're going to blend it, so we're going to try it all together. Off we go. M -a -t -mat. Brilliant. So we've thought about it. We found some things that have the sound in. We've practiced it. We've read it. And the last thing I'd like us to do is to write it. Okay, so we're going to practice that together. So, I've got my whiteboard ready to write, I've got my rubber, and I've got my pen ready to go. Uh, and the first word I'd like us to practice writing, uh, we've already actually looked at. It was one of the words I found around my house. And it's only got three sounds. And none of these sounds are digraphs, because it's only got sound buttons, it doesn't have any sound lines. So the word I'd like us to try and write is man. So say it nice and slowly with me. Off we go. Man. And let's try and uh, tap it. Off we go. M -a -n. Man. And try and drum it. M -a -n. Man. And try and clap it. M -a -n. N mm, man. So the first sound is our nice stretchy sound. M. Mm. So when we start with a straight line to begin with for Maisie, so off we go. Maisie, mountain, mountain. And the next sound is a nice bouncy sound. M. Mm, ah. 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 Apple. So in this one we've got to go back around the apple. So ready? Off we go. Around the apple. And then we go straight down the leaf. M mm a -ah. m mm a -ah. m mm a -ah. n. Mm, well done. M. Mm. And this one is a bit like Maisie, but Nobby only has one bounce, so we only go over one net. If we go over two, then it will actually be an m, mm, won't it? So m mm a -ah. m mm. straight down Nobby. Up and over his net. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, and I'd like to try one more. And this one actually does have a digraph. <laughs> so this one uh, I'd like to try is mash. Like mashed potato. So I'd like it to crisscross it. So ready? Off we go. M mm a -ah. Shh, mash, and now put it in your head. So pass it on your head. Ready? Off we go. M mm a -ah. sh mash. So the beginning of it is very similar to man because we still have an m, mm, and we still have an a. Ah, so I still need sound buttons. It's the end that's different. So it's not an m. Mm, it's a sh. So I need a sound line, okay? So remember the beginning again? It's nice and straight down Maisie first. Off we go. Maisie, mountain, mountain. Uh, and the next sound was the same. So remember, m a m a n man, m a m a sh mash. So this, is the same sound. We've got to go back again around the apple. So ready? Off we go. 
back around the apple and straight down the leaf. Lovely. Now this is the bit that's difficult. This it's a bit tricky at the end. So m a sh. So we know of our sh. It starts with a letter s. A s slither down the snake. But we must remember the next letter, otherwise it doesn't quite make sense. M a s mass mass potato. Not quite. So remember, it's a s and an h, a s. And a h, and this one has to be taller than our n, otherwise it will look like the wrong letter, which is why I decided to practice it. So remember, our h starts nice and tall, and we go straight down the horse, up and over his back, and it has to be really tall because otherwise it looks like this one. It looks a bit like an n, doesn't it? So mash one more time. Off we go together. M a sh mash. I do enjoy mashed potato. Well, thank you for your help, and I look forward to talking to you again soon when we practice our next sound. So enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.